Shabbat Shalom Hebrews and Boker Tov. This is Big Sister Ecelia and Emma Mayenia bringing you the origin of Christmas. When we think about Christmas, we think of toys, right? And gifts and all of those things. And we think about gifts because they were given to Yahushua. They were given to Yahushua because he was a king. And people gave gifts to kings, saying, Where is he that is born king of Yisrael? And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and mirth. Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 and 11. So, we see that gifts were given to Yahushua the Messiah, but it was not for his birthday. It was because he was a king. But people celebrate Christmas because they think they are celebrating the time when these gifts were given to the Messiah. We also see food and family along with gifts and presents during Christmas. But did you know all of these things are pagan? When people are pagan, it means that they worship the S-U-N, sun. So they are sun worshippers, Hebrews. Let's see what Yah says about worshiping the S-U-N, sun. Thus says Yah, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of the heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen, with an axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, Neither also in it is it in them to do good. So what God means here, little Hebrews, is this. The solar system, you heard of the solar system, right? In science, where the solar system is a part of the heavens. Because there are many parts of the heavens. And sometimes it changes. But Yah says, do not be surprised about the signs of the heavens. Don't be surprised if they change because Yah did it. But the pagan or S-U-N sun worshippers, they were surprised, Hebrews. They were surprised that the sun did something different and they worshipped it. Then they threw a party to celebrate. Called it the Saturnalia. Let's see what Yah says about worshipping anything but him. I am Yah, your mighty one, who brought you out the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You have no other mighty ones against my face. See, Yah says not to have mighty ones before him, and that includes the S-U-N sun. But what happens to the sun around this time of the year that surprised the pagans? Why were they surprised? Well, in the northern part of the world, we have something called the winter solstice which is the day of the year near December 22nd when the sun is furthest from the earth. It is the shortest day and the longest night of the year. This is why it's colder outside right now, little Hebrews, because we are in the winter solstice. Around June 21st, we have the summer solstice, when the sun is closer to the earth and the days are longer and the night's shorter. So that's why it's hot around that time. So the sun right now is not so close to the earth as in the summertime when it's hot. This is what they were celebrating. Sounds kind of weird, right? 
The word solstice comes from S O L sol, which means sun, and stitum, which means stoppage. So solstice means sun stoppage or standing still sun. So they worship the sun because it stood still. Would you go out and worship the sun if it didn't move? Isn't that kind of weird? For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of a workman with an axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. Jeremiah chapter 10, verses 2 through 4. No lesson about Christmas or Christ's mess is complete without some explanation of the Christmas tree. Remember Nimrod, little Bruce, who listened to Yah at first, but then he changed and wanted to fight against Yah? Well, an old Babylonian story told of an evergreen tree, which sprang out of a dead tree stump. The old stump represented the dead Nimrod, and we already know what Yah says about worshiping the dead. The new evergreen tree represented that Nimrod had come to life again in Tammuz. And we already know that Yah says that once you're dead physically, you can't come back to life. Tammuz was Nimrod's son. So among the Druids, the oak tree was sacred. That means that they celebrated it. I mean, they worshipped it. Among the Egyptians, it was the palm tree that they worshipped. And in Rome, it was the fir tree that they worshipped, which was decorated with red berries during the Saturnalia. And remember, the Saturnalia was the party the pagans had to celebrate the changes in the S-U-N, sun. So Satan has convinced people that they are worshipping the S-O-N, sun, but really they are worshipping the S-U-N, sun. Yeah. You shall utterly destroy all the places where the nations which you shall possess serve their gods, upon the high mountains and upon the hills, and under every green tree. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 2. See how Yah tells us not to worship Christmas trees, liberals? Now let's take a look at Santa Claus. Isn't it weird? That Santa is Satan if you just switch the T-A-N around? That's not by mistake, little Hebrews. Christmas is centered around you, children, kids. People say that they do it so that you can be happy. And it all began with the Santa Claus lie. According to Langer's Encyclopedia of World History, under Article Santa, Santa was a common name for Nimrod. Remember? Nimrod. Throughout Asia Minor. This was also the name of the same fire god who came down the chimneys of the ancient pagans. Washington Irving in 1809 changed the fire god into a supposedly good guy named St. Nicholas, who was supposed to be this jolly, happy, and fun virgin of the fire god. But what Irving didn't tell us was that old Nick has long been recognized as a term for the devil. And I don't know about you, little Hebrews, but the devil is not a nice and jolly and fun person at all. I mean, I don't look at the devil and, and, and be happy. The devil doesn't make me happy. Do he make you happy?